At HUL, Meta was not content with organic growth alone. So, in 2020, the company acquired GlaxoSmithKline's consumer healthcare business. And with this acquisition, more iconic brands like Horlicks, Boost and Moldova joined the HUL empire, making it the largest food and refreshment business in India. Meth is equally excited about the vitamins, minerals and supplement space where HUL now has a footprint thanks to the acquisition of GSK Consumer Healthcare. Uh, at some stage you will see us uh, unfolding, which is a big thrust for Unilever globally, is the space of uh, vitamins, minerals and supplements, which then also leads me into a food and refreshment business. You know, after we acquired GSK, uh, the merger of GSK with us, which incidentally I would like to remind people is that it is the biggest merger that has happened in the space of FMCG in India ever. Yeah, it is something which we acquired for nearly over 30,000 crores, but it was uh, essentially a share swap deal and we leveraged a high uh, P ratio and I believe it was a fantastic deal that we got. And uh, why it makes me so bullish about a health food drink business is because as a country, while we consume the gross calories today, the recommended gross calories, as a country we are still seriously deficient when it comes to minerals, vitamins and supplements. And uh, HFD business, Horlicks Boost, the plus range, can play an extremely important role in nourishing a billion plus lives. Meth has also been preparing HUL for a significant digital transformation. Under a plan titled Reimagining HUL, Meth is using data and technology to boost efficiency. Take, for example, the Shikhar app, where a retailer can place an order for goods even when a salesman cannot visit. HUL also deploys Jarvis, an artificial intelligence tool that helps predict the grocery needs of a customer. Meta believes this AI tool is a potent weapon. The area which occupies the maximum amount of my personal time is reimagining HUL. Yeah, that is where I spend a huge amount of time. An FMCG company is a linear value chain. Yeah, you plan, you source, you make, you deliver, and then you have marketing. But here we said in today's world, where speed will be of essence where uh, we will be able to pull together disparate information, we need to create ecosystems. And that was the birth of our vision of creating an intelligent enterprise. And today, Shireen, I talked about Shikhar app, I talked about uh, the Pala factory and digital twins, but I can also tell you, we have got models like Jarvis which optimize the various variables of FMCG. Like how much would you be spending on trade? What would be your pricing? What would you be spending below the line, above the line, on media, on traditional media and digital? And using algorithms and machine learning, we are able to optimize it. And this is one of our secret sources, a very potent weapon. And again, Jarvis has traveled to the rest of the Unilever world, including Americas and Europe, because it's such a powerful tool. So Jarvis as a tool has become a very potent tool where we hold the IP for it. Advertising has been a key pillar for all FMCG brands and HUL has been no exception. Brands like Lifebuoy, Lux, Surf XL have had some iconic ad campaigns. Under Metha, HUL looks at advertising as a form of engagement with the customer. And last but not the least is building engagement platforms. When we talk about engagement platforms, Shireen, we have to not only have product superiority, but importantly, we have to traverse the minds and emotions of the consumers. So whether it is uh, Stop the Beauty Test, which Dove has been talking about, or the LACME Fashion Week, or uh, uh, it is the dirt is good platform of Surf Excel. This is, these are the kind of engagement platforms that we have built, which allows our consumers to engage with the brands. And this has again been within our axis of uh, ensuring that we have growth, growth top line competitive growth, improving the margins, 
and the return on capital employed. For a company with more than 50 successful brands and several businesses, culture is the key connecting tissue. And Sanjeev Mehta understands the importance of culture, which breeds high performance. And uh, last but not the least, which forms part of the high performance anatomy that I described earlier, is the culture of the company. And culture, it starts from the top. And culture is all about behavior at scale. So the beliefs, the behaviors, and it has to start from the top, and that's how it travels down the organization. And uh, I'm so pleased with the kind of culture we have and the culture that we are building in the company. Well, that is the story of HOL's growth and evolution under Sanjeev Mehta's decade-long watch. As he gets set to retire, he hands over a more valuable and diverse company than the one that he took over. Thanks very much for watching this episode of The Winning Mindset. We'll be back with another successful CEO, a successful entrepreneur. Till then, from all of us here on the team, goodbye. Thanks very much for watching.